This Father's Day weekend, four sisters are hoping to honor the legacy of their late father by setting sail on a new venture. Karen Hensel has tonight's Seven Spotlight. For these sisters, listening to a voicemail from their dad is a cherished memory. Hey, sweetheart. I hope all is well. I miss you. I'm praying for you. Asad Masood died in 2021, but to understand his South Florida legacy, we need to look back. He was a lifelong boater and a legend in Coconut Grove. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he was known as the captain around Coconut Grove. He was a little bit of a local sub. You couldn't leave your house without somebody being like, oh, the captain. <laughs> but to his daughters. This was my dad's jacket. He was simply dad. My dad was one of the most generous people that I that I know. One of Assad's loves was his boat, the Ra, docked for decades at Dinner Key Marina. Ra was the Egyptian sun god was known as a life giver. A meeting the captain took personally by setting sail on a mission to change lives. He invited people out sailing all the time and even if they couldn't afford to go sailing, he would invite them anyway. And this was his gift, you know, giving people access to the bay. Through the years, the Ra survived two lightning strikes and being sunk during Hurricane Andrew. But in 2020, the captain faced his own battle with cancer. We were taking care of my father and his last chapter and it was it was very difficult for all of us with their father sick the daughters were financially forced to make a difficult decision to sell the raw I told him daddy we're gonna go say goodbye to the boat and I said oh, she was the love of my life but yeah don't tell mommy <laughs> the daughters hoped by selling they were giving the boat a new life with a new captain but in a twist of fate Two years after their dad died, last November, the raw came back into their lives. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is the moment the sisters first saw the boat abandoned. Now they are on a rescue mission. So what do you make of the fact that that boat, that was the love of your father's life, that boat all of a sudden washes back up on shore. So I think that my dad wants us to tell his story and he's using the boat as a vehicle to do that. In his memory, the sisters started a nonprofit called the Raw Foundation that will eventually take disadvantaged kids in South Florida out sailing on Biscayne Bay. We really felt like we, in some way, we want to share her with the community the way that dad did. And that community who loved the captain so much has donated enough money to write and raise the raw. We need to get her lifted up within the next high tide, right? So we have some high tide at the end of the month. So we're definitely up against the clock in terms of getting her sailing again and finding her a home. Finding that home will be the final hurdle. The main challenge we have right now is we don't have a place to take her. I just feel like we need a little bit more help to get to the finish line. And it would just really help have his legacy live forever. I'm praying for you. God be with you, sweetheart. I love you. Bye. A father's life, love, and legacy now carried on by four daughters on a mission to once again set sail. Karen Hensel, 7 News. What a beautiful story. It sure is.